We're back again. Mm. This one is called The Romanians Are Coming. Now, who the fuck decided to title a documentary called The Romanians Are Coming, you know? Like, how, how many negative sort of connotations do are associated with a title called The Romanians Are Coming? Nothing positive can be thought when you hear, when you hear The Romanians Are Coming. Like, these people in this country, Britain, they're racist already, yeah? And they really don't like Romanians and that. Yeah, I trust me, I speak to these tenants and that. I'll be like, oh, what's your neighbours like? Oh, them next door, they don't even speak English. Some Romanians and that. But fuck, man. I went to some white guy's yard and he said to me, have you read the Northampton Chronicle? It's basically like every area has its own sort of newspaper. So in my borough, Enfield, we have the Enfield Advertiser. In Hackney, they have the Had Hackney Gazette and so on and so forth. And so in Northampton, they have the Northampton Chronicle. And this guy said to me, you know cigarette butts? I said, yeah. He said, do you know there were 36 convictions for people throwing cigarette butts on the floor? And he said, did you know 30 of them, 3-0, were from Romanian people? And I'm thinking, why the fuck are you even telling me that? You think I give a shit? Whether the people with black, white, purple, blue, or from planet Mars. I don't give, give a shit. But these people are racist. They don't like Romanians. They don't like foreigners and that. So anything they do that's wrong, it's like them fucking running a stoplight, a red light, is the same as fucking killing someone and that. Yeah, they just magnify everything. But this is called The Romanians Are Coming. I've watched about five minutes of it, and I thought, you know what, this is going to be a good video to react to the car. Things over in Romania is bad. And these people are coming over here literally just to start a better life here, just to provide a better life for themselves and their families. And that. what they do is a lot of foreign people do it, whether they're Jamaican or African or Indian and that, Eastern European, they come over here, they work, live like slaves, uh, work like slaves, send the money back home and build their own house and that. So uh, that's what the, the Romanian people they want to do. They want to come over here, maybe settle here, but build homes back in Romania, innit? Anyway, let's let's get into it. Let's go. In these days, you know, people are planning to go to Mars, and we are still riding horses. That's unbelievable. That's the difference between nations. You see, USA is planning to go into Mars, and gypsies from Romania ride horses. <laughs> At the start of 2014, Romanians were told they can work anywhere in the European Union. I love your insurance number, I love your benefit, I love your money, England. And new Brits went crazy, like we are the Taliban or something. The massive influx from Romania is causing huge social problems. They should not have automatic access to British jobs. In a sense, we are taking jobs from people, you know? But shit jobs. You know, I think to myself, like, obviously, Nigel Farage is the leader of UKIP and that, but David Cameron was the leader of Conservative and that. So, and Conservative were in power. So, who, who the fuck is the person? Oh, no, I guess, yeah, if, yeah, Romania was in the EU and England was in the EU. So, therefore, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess they don't have control over who can come in and who can't. If you're part of the EU, then anyone can come in and out. So I guess so, yeah. There are maybe 100,000 Romanians working in the UK. And I'm going to tell you the stories of some of the assholes like me who came to steal your job. <laughs> my name is Alex, and I'm proud to be a Romanian gypsy. This is my gypsy son. My wife too is gypsy. Even the little dog is gypsy. <laughs> It's maybe How the fuck can a dog be a gypsy? Maybe time to change your mentality, to come and meet us, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so you've got normal Romanians and you've got the Romanian gypsies, yeah? Now, there's a stigma behind Romanian gypsies that they beg for money, that they uh, pickpocket people and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of the Romanians, so the people that come over here from Romania, apparently 70% of people that come over to England from Romania, 70% of them allegedly are Rom Romanian Roma gypsies and the other 30% are just normal Romanian people. 
Um, and apparently, obviously, the Romanian gypsies, they give the normal Romanians a bad name, allegedly. Last year, over 20,000 Romanians came to the UK with guaranteed work. And most of these men and women are good professional people with best qualification. But I don't want to lie to you. There are some Romanians that come with no job and nowhere to live. And these gypsies like these that scare the shit out of you. Obviously, with them begging, 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 not many people want to be walking around because they're afraid that they're probably going to be pickpocketed or something like that. Just send them back. I stink this place a lot. Thou shalt not steal. These people, there's no steal. These people, they want to work. Surely they have work in your land. In my country, I don't have New York, man. I don't have job. They say you are stealing. You understand? <laughs> No have jokes, no have nothing here. Oh, yeah, Baba. No, chance. Cheers. When I see beggars on your streets, I'm ashamed to be a gypsy. And though I hate you keeping Mr. Niger. What the fuck was that, blood? I'm ashamed to be a gypsy. I have work in your land. In my country, I don't have New York, man. I don't have job. They say you are stealing. You understand? <laughs> no have job, no have nothing here. Oh, oh yeah, Baba. No, chance. Cheers. When I see beggars on your streets... No. What? <laughs> that can't be real. That can't be real. That must be like a mannequin's legs and the guy has no real legs. I'm ashamed to be a gypsy. Fam, are you lot seeing what the fuck I'm seeing, fam? And though I hate you keeping Mr. Niger, I agree that this guy should be sent home. You can beg in Romania too. If you want to beg, beg here. Beg the fuck here. You can go and kill a deer, I don't know, eat grass. You don't die here. Don't go there, I hate them. But I don't want to talk about stupid people. Because you don't need to be an asshole to end up on the streets. Boo, we don't fast all the Yeah. You get some food. Oh yeah. Alright? Take care, man. For years, Alex lived in Canada. But for the last few months, he's been trying to find work in London. That's Victoria coach. Our house is over there. Well, <laughs> this so-called house. <laughs> Let's go. Victoria is like where you start your life in London. Because this is where uh, the bus takes them from either Luton or Gatwick Airport. There's plenty of Romanians here. The Romanian laugh, look. There's four Romanians no, that you can see right now. Hello. You see this? Look behind me. All Romanians. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> we can recognize our people from a mile away. There are people, for fuck's sakes. You know what I mean? Like, we know. <laughs> this is where the buses stop, and this is where we live. This parking lot. Second floor. <laughs> yeah. Almost at the penthouse. We sleep right there, under the fire hydrant. Right over there. It's kind of yeah. fucked up, but you know what? I'm not doing any wrong. You see this? This is our bed. We lay it down, and then we sleep upon it. Three people can sleep like this, no problem. You see behind you? See the electricity box? There's seven sleeping bags in there. <laughs> Fucking lying to you. Jesus Christ, I thought he was joking, you know. <laughs> they got running water. <laughs> and we have electricity to charge our phones here. <laughs> you see, <laughs> there's the police station. <laughs> 
And to be honest, I love to wake up in the morning and look at this park. It's amazing. Zone one, Victoria Station. There's nothing better than this. But then again, we gotta forget about the police station being there. You know, you just look this way. <laughs> Do your mom and dad know about your situation now? My mom and dad have no idea what I'm doing. They think I work in a hospital, that I live in rent, and I can't tell them. It's, it's hard. It's hard on their heart. Top a lot off, my brother tells me, I'm coming to visit you. Mom wants to come to us. I say, fuck that. <laughs> Not your mom. No. <laughs> Nobody stays healthy sleeping in a car park. And as soon as Alex and his mates Gabriel and Christian get jobs, they'll rent a flat. And I tell you something, we Romanians are the hardest workers in Europe. And some of us have to fight for everything. Come fast, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah, what is it? They are. Not bad, Not bad. Looks like he's doing some sort of drugs or something. Sniffing glue from a bag or some sort of solvent abuse. Sara este este foarte săracă. Foarte săracă. Foarte frumoasă deja. Au jucării, nu au. Ce să se joace? Nu au. Aici locuim de, din 99 și tot în sărăcia asta. Fam, looks like a fucking bomb site, blood. Looks like, looks like a fire had gone off, blood. <laughs> Aici locuim de, de 99. Blood, it looks like the place has been set on fire, blood. It looks like, you know one of them maps in Call of Duty Black Ops or one of them Call of Duty games where it's an abandoned sort of, I don't know, town or estate and man are running through and you know what I'm trying to say, blood. Fucking crazy, blood. I bet there's no electric on, anyway. Și tot în sărăcia asta. Say, this is why these people are desperate to come over here because they're living in conditions like that. Not all of them, but a lot of them, blood. Not everywhere in Romania is fucked like the gypsy ghetto in Baia Mare. And a 50 year old gypsy like Sandu? My goodness me, look at all that rubbish, blood. So apparently, the reason why the gypsy people live there is because the normal Romanian people don't want them in mainstream Romania, so they're kind of like exiled, basically. Which is sad still, but, I mean, there's no smoke without fire in it, that's all I'm gonna say, innit? We'll never get the job here. Păi eu la revedere, dragă! Gata, că mâini nu mai stau. La revedere! No, la revedere, dragă! No, ia de aici, că mă duc la serviciu. Tomorrow, Sandu is leaving for the UK. Because if he can't get his family out of this shit, his children will turn savage. Hai cu mine! Mai te bat? Nu! 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 Mai te
Așa stai acolo cu mâinile sus. Vreau să văd. Până când îți spui eu să te ridici de acolo, până atunci nu te ridici. Yeah, that's the old school punishment, you know. Uh, there's been teachers in school that have made uh, pupils stand in the corner and put their arms in the air and that. Uh, and you know, nowadays we live in such a soft, feminine, pussified fucking society. If you make a child stand in the wall with his arms in the air, that's, that's seen as child abuse. Motherfucker, building up some strength, motherfucker. Like child abuse, blood. Everything's child abuse. Fucking look at a child the wrong way as child abuse. Pedepsit. Pedepsit. Nie bun. 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 Everyone deserves the chance to get a better life. But it's not a piece of cake to leave your friends and family behind. If you think this is easy, then try it for a couple of months. O să mergem în Anglia să ne căutăm de lucru, să muncim pe termen mai lung, atunci să ne putem duce și familia în Anglia, ar fi mai bine. Suntem siguri că englezii o să ne întingă o mână mai mare. Că trăiască Anglia! Și Regina! That is what you call. <laughs> See the man them on the ends. They say, yeah, I'm from the trenches and I'm from the ghetto. No, this is the real ghetto. Yeah, apparently Romania is supposed to be the poorest country in Europe. Or oh, I think Moldova is, but Moldova was a part of Europe, um, was a part of Romania back in the day anyway. But apparently yeah, Romania is the poorest country in Europe, if not Moldova, if not the both of them. <laughs> If you live in a place that's poor, oh, that fucking violin was press this, then where can you find hope? <laughs> I mean, is it me or is that fucking violin hurting your ears, blood? I'm not even gonna peel it back because it's so. Yeah. Today, Sandu goes to Liverpool, oh, damn. taking his elder son Aline and his best friend Florin. <laughs> oh, yeah, with, with uh, Romanian people, a popular name is Florin and Sorin. I've met a few people called Florin and Sorin, so. Come on. Mă iau încă în două costume și o geacă. Nu multe lucruri, că n-are rost, că domnul îngăduie să aibă haine pe acolo. Antoniu să se simtă, din toți copiii, Antoniu să se simtă cel mai prost. El e tătos, e foarte tătos. O iubesc în timpul. Și dacă nu-i... Greu. Well, okay, so at least they do have electricity and that. Boy, it's far from the truth. She just tell us something. That really is a tough thing. You know, I must ask my girl, you know, because she knows about like, not not to that level, but she knows about like Jewish culture. Like I said, not to that level. She knows about Romanian culture, not to that level, but. I think the Romanian music might be similar to Jewish music because even the way they're dancing and doing all this stuff and that, I'm sure that's how. I'm gonna ask her after this if she's still awake because it's late night at the moment. Um, it, seems, it seems quite similar to Jewish culture, just the, the, the way the music and the way they're dancing. Who is this? 
put down in the comment section if you if you know. Sper că în cel mai scurt timp să ajung să pot duce și să fim și noi într adevăr cu oameni care ne doresc. If things go well and the boys get jobs in Liverpool, they will not be back for years. Antonio, where's that scholar? The two-day drive from Bayamare cost 40 euros. And Sandu had to sell his car to get the three tickets. Găsim de muncă, găsim, că noi suntem muncitori. Dar cum crezi că sunt femeile în Anglia? Femeile? Ia cu ce mă duc în Anglia să le belesc. Oh, no! That is bad. Let's pull that back a couple seconds. We will find work. We are hard working. Definitely, them and they work hard. Oh. What do you think the women are like in England? Female. Yeah, I'm going to do in Anglia to the best. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to repeat what my man said. Sunt două categorii, care recunoaște și care nu recunoaște. Tu în care categorie de bani? Ai dus, tu ai dus. I love my country. Oh my God, Romania is beautiful. She has so many places you never saw nowhere else in the world. But it's not my fault that so many of us are poor. And if you have really poor countries in the world, then people will move to get work. Alex has found a shitty job in London. He gets paid minimum <laughs> wage. But the worst deal is, he has to be at the agency at five each morning to see if he's got any work. In a sense, we are taking jobs from people, you know? That, that is bullshit, what you just said, watch. Alex has found a shitty job in London. He gets paid minimum wage. But the worst deal is, he has to be at the agency at five each morning to see if he's got any work. Now, what kind of bullshit is that? Why are you making a man go down to the agency office to find out whether there's work or not? Because I'm assuming wherever the agency office is, the work is not within a one mile radius of where the agency office is. So I don't think the agency office is in Edmonton and the work is in Edmonton. The agency office is probably in fucking Harrow and the man are working in Westminster or something stupid like that. Why are you making a man go all the way down there just to see if there's work? Just phone him at five in the morning and say, there is work or there is not work. Goodbye, good night, get some more sleep. Why are you making a man go all the way down there to find out whether there's work or not when you can just phone him and let him know? What the fuck, blood? At least if they had the man, like, at least if they had an arrangement, like, make sure you're just washed and ready to leave at five in the morning when we phone you rather than come there. Because think about it, if, if a man has to be there at five in the morning, what if travelling is an hour? Remember, London Underground and that, yeah, it depends on where they are. He might have to take the tube and that. If he's too far away to take the tube, then blah, man might have to take the bus. He might be leaving his yard at 3.30 in the morning to get to wherever the agency office is to find out there's no work, blood. <laughs> Fucking assholes, blood. In a sense, we are taking jobs from people, you know? But shit jobs. 
like street cleaners and car washers and like uh, working with asbestos. Like all those shit jobs were taken, indeed. But if you ask me, there will be nobody else doing it. English people don't want to do those jobs. English people don't want to do the quote unquote shit jobs. They think they're too good for it. That's why they don't own their own property. That's why they're never going to get nowhere in that because they're not willing to make that sacrifice. They're not willing to work hard and grind hard, blood. And then this is the thing, yeah? So the reason why English people don't like foreign labour because they are, they're undercutting the market. They're undercutting the market. No, they're not undercutting the market. You lot are charging too much, blood. The reason why you're charging too much is because you want to be able to afford going on holiday three times a year, blood. You don't only want to work a 40-hour week and that. Told you already plenty of times at the, inf the, the infamous Holborn job. When I was going to work on a Saturday and Sunday, I used to get on the tube at 7.30 in the morning. Well, 7 o'clock in the morning. I used to get on the tube. There were other people on the tube, but I was the only British person on the tube. Oh, there was black people, but they were from Africa. Oh, there was Asian people, but they were from India or Bangladesh or Pakistan. Oh, there was white people, but they were from Poland. Or Bulgaria. I was the only fucking British person on the fucking tube, blood. Because English people are lazy. How the fuck, yeah, can we live in an in a white man's country? In a, in, how can we be in England, but the majority of the workforce I see going to work in the mornings on a Saturday and Sunday is foreign people. English people are fucking lazy, blood. If you told English people it is mandatory now, you have to work on Monday to Saturday, they'll have a fucking heart attack, blood. They don't work overtime, blood. They don't, they don't want... God forbid you told them, yeah, you know, you have to work... Every now and then, like, let's say you're out of the month, you have to work one weekend, Saturday and Sunday. They would have a fucking problem with that, blood. I mean, I don't give a shit, blood. I'm out here to make money, man. So, yeah, they, they moan about people undercutting the market and that. They're just charging too much for their fucking services and, and they want to get paid too much just so they can live this pretentious lifestyle and that. And then, if we weren't here, I'm pretty sure. So what he was saying, hold on. Working with asbestos, like, all those shit jobs were taken, indeed. But, if you ask me, there would be nobody else doing that if we weren't here. I'm pretty sure. Doesn't matter if I'm sleeping on the streets. As long as I clean them, I should be able to sleep on it. <laughs> Alex is a clever guy. Before he came in the UK, he ran his own business in Canada. But it's not easy getting a decent job when you live in a fucking car. That's why he has that kind of funky, kind of fake American accent because he was living in Canada. Alex is a clever guy. Before he came in the UK, he ran his own business in Canada. But it's not easy getting a decent job when you live in a fucking car park. <laughs> hey, this narrator needs a five-star rating, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my past life from Canada. This is my car. And my house. Jeez, Mercedes, God. Old school, though, fucking hell. This is just back there. This is how we used to have fun. That's my best friend and I'm driving. <laughs> so, I mean, what happened, Alex? Uh, I was young, I was stupid and greedy because I didn't pay taxes for six and a half years. And when Revenue Canada came to collect taxes, I was even stupid to try to bribe them. Everybody does shit they're not proud of. But Alex wants to make things right with God. So he helps other Romanians like Stefan when they first arrive in Rome. See the tower? Yeah. McDonald's. We're gonna go get some free Wi-Fi from here. Where do you get the free Wi-Fi? From the mega bus. Because it's free Wi-Fi, but if the bus leaves, we're kinda screwed. We gotta wait for another one to come. <laughs> Gotta wait for a reception now. Connecting. <laughs> Benefits. Job seeker allowance. 
All right, we're good to go. Oh, we are not Internet gone. connected. We are connected to the other bus. This one doesn't work, and that bus left. So we're kind of stuck now for yeah. waiting for another bus. <laughs> You have to be in the UK for three months before you claim benefits. And if you don't speak much English, then it helps to have a mate to fill in the forms. Do you want to claim housing benefit? Deocamdată nu. Ei prima dată una, după aia va ei pe cealaltă. Înțelegi că dacă pui prea multe, o iau razna ăștia. Deci, a, veni să ia numai beneficii. Nu, ei câte unul, unul câte unul. You know the white, because obviously, white British people a lot of them will be watching this program. When it came out, I don't know when it came out, but when this program first came out, because I, I remember I heard about it years ago, innit? and I, I didn't watch it anyway. When this program came out, yeah, I know the white British people, they had their eyes glued to the blood clot screen. And when they hear that, oh, they could just come over and claim benefits just like that, you know that must have got them vexed, you know. What the fucking world man is come over here and it's fucking claim our benefit tax paid fucking money. Yeah? I know they was pissed blood. No. Nationality African. <laughs> no, no way. Roman you tell my baby. Roman is Roman. Okay. Confirmat. You. You're done, my Thank friend. No problem. Victory. Victory, Victory yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, fine, thank you. I love you, London. I love your insurance number. I love your benefit. I love your money, England. They must have been, listen, let me tell you something. The British white people there that are watching that bit there, they must have been angry. They must have been angry. Must, oh, I love you, London. I love you, benefit, job seekers, national insurance number. And no, that must have pissed them off, boy. Do you know how much money you can get? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. How much money would you like to get? This big. This, <laughs> this, eh. Filled with full. money. Eh, it's full, 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 eh. <laughs> Stefan has been living off the pennies he gets as the golden cowboy. It's the perfect job for immigrants that have little English. Hello, lady. Especially if they don't give a shit about dressing up in team Hello. 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 Hello, lady. Hello, lady. <laughs> Stefan came to London to earn money to send home. But his gold statue routine never made more than seven quid. Fucking hell. Imagine being out there standing around for the whole day for the sake of seven pounds per day, boy. Salute, salute. <laughs> you Romanian? No, <laughs> vreau le cunosc, eh? <laughs> That's fucked. How can a man assume he's Romanian? He didn't even see what colour skin he was, but he just think, oh, man standing around without a job must be fucking Romanian. How racist is that, blood? <laughs> very, 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 very God nice. I love you. <laughs> this day. Mă gândesc cum să aduc pe copii aici. Who is this? I'm looking at. Da, este Ștefanie. Căzut un calorifer pe picior și are probleme la picior. Am o Bam, the man is like 55 years old. Why has he got a little 5-year-old blood? My man's kids should be fucking 40. <laughs> the blood clot. 55 year old man should be talking about my kids are grown up people. Yeah, if in your 55, your kid should be fucking 30, if you get what I'm trying to say, not five. The man there, 55 years old, 55 years old, still going strong with the gal them. Coming like Robert De Niro, popping out one when he was like 80, 85? The fuck? By the time that little nigga's five years old, your dad's going to be dead to blood clot. The film is here. You can see the fissure here, you see? 
și mulțumesc, pun pământul aici, numai să-i rezolv piciorușul să și îți tică. Aș face orice <laughs> să fac bani. If you don't have money in Romania, you don't get good doctor. And the asshole that fixed the broken leg of Stefan's little girl did it so badly she can barely walk. Fuck me, man. That's it. Yeah, it's a botch job. Yeah. There's botch electricians, botch mechanics, botch plumbers, there's botch doctors, blood. You see you see what they are. Botched up faces and all of that, botched up this, botched up nose jobs, botched up BBL. The fucking girl died from a BBL. I remember there was one black woman in America. She wanted to get a BBL done. She must have got gangrene, end up losing her arms and fucking legs, blood. It's madness. Anyway, that noise there that you just heard, if you did sound like a, a camera guy enough, that's TikTok. Yeah, go go follow me on TikTok, JYS TV on TikTok. I don't know. No, și eu dorm în partea elantă, aici la biserică, hai să vezi. Tomorrow, Stefan has a job interview. It could be the first step to renting a flat. And then he can bring his baby girl to England. Nu mă dau bături niciodată, zi. Cât de greu o fi. That is the attitude to have, resilience. No matter how hard it gets, I'm not going to give up. Respect, respect, respect. And you got pussios that live in this country, born in this country and that, and they're moaning about, oh, my boss wants me to work an extra one or two hours today. Blood, you're getting paid for it, blood. Oh, managers and management from above want people to start volunteering to do it extra Saturday or Sunday here and there. You're complaining, blood. There's people that would fucking work every single day of the month if they could. Blood, I've done it before, blood. I turned into a fucking Romanian at Holborn when I was at the infamous Holborn job, blood. Yeah, my name wasn't Jelani, it was Giuliano Stefano, yeah? Fucking, I turned into a Romanian on that contract, yeah? I'm I'm still a Romanian right now, blood. Yeah. Since I've been at this contract up in Northampton, I've had a three month break because the work ran out, so I just took the time off work. <clears throat> but other than that, in the two years that I was working been working here, apart from that three month break, I've only taken off two or three days. I don't take days off work, blood. Never. I don't take annual leave. It's September right now, yeah, 2023. You know I have to quote the year. Come on, got videos booked up to Ross Clark 2025. April. Anyway, if they said, ah, oh, who can we guarantee? Imagine, yeah, so it's September right now. Imagine they had an important job to do in January, yeah? So in four months' time. If they said, ah, oh, who can we rely on to be in work in January for an important job? They'll say, Jelani. Jelani, hands down. The other guys at my workplace and that, they'll say, ah, oh, such and such has gone off sick, or such and such had to leave early, or such and such can't make this job. Can you? Yeah, yeah. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I'm a fucking reliable man, blood. Yeah. All I do is fucking work, blood. I've got three properties at the moment. I'm in the process of buying a fourth one. I'm remortgaging my house, this one, so that I can go and buy a fifth property, blood. It's because I fucking work. That's all I do. I work. Yeah? Even during these videos, I'm fucking working. I'm working, making this video, creating content. That is work. But during the creation of the content, I am also working because I'm uploading videos to my TikTok account. Like I said, go follow me, JYS TV, TikTok. Yeah? I even made a video during doing a reaction video. So you see how I'm here presenting on the screen. I had my camera here and I made a quick two minute video during a reaction video. I didn't even pause the reaction video, you know, the reaction video was still going. I made a, I made a separate video to upload to my TikTok account. That's how dedicated I am to that fucking task, bro. Piss me off. And the, the, this, this is the thing. 
I'm working like I'm poor. I'm working like I've got a hundred grand worth of debt and fucking the loan sharks are after me and a couple gangsters in the ends after me. No, I'm further ahead than 95% of people you will ever come across in the street that you will know. And I'm working hard like I am broke. I'm working hard like someone said, if you don't pay us this money back by the end of the month, you're fucking dead. That's, you have to work like you are poor. You have to work like you're a hundred grand in debt, blood, and your life depends on it, bro. Fucking night, it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm saying night, but it's 10 o'clock at night. Still grinding, blood. And I'm further ahead than most people, blood. You've got to de develop a strong work ethic. You've got to be like these Romanian people, man. You can learn from them, seriously. Man, a sprucing himself up. Cool, hi. Where did you get your jacket? I know I'm not the magazine de Arab. Three pound, you know? <laughs> Wait, you know that must be fucking second hand, boy. With three points. I threw a chance and scored three. Three. Three, three pounds? Yes. Hey. Elegant. He's looking sharp, to be fair. Three ways to show. Stefan's interview is for a company that specializes in hiring part-time workers. Oh, good morning. Yes, sir. Oh, this is Charlie, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie, this is him. Okay. What's up? For a work job. Okay. Oh, I love you this job. Where is the cleaning industry? Okay, where do you live? Sorry. <laughs> you don't understand. Anyway. Um, how long have you been in England? Uh, four months. Four months. Four months. And can you hold up your left hand for me, please? Okay. <laughs> he doesn't understand English. That is so... Uh, let's feel it, man. It's kind of funny still. <laughs> My man said to him, what did he say? Um, I can't remember what the fuck he said. He asked him a question like, not, not how long you've been in the country or whatever, in it, but he just looked at him like he was puzzled. Like, let's peel it back. I love you this job. Where is the cleaning industry? Oh, he said, he said, where are you living? Mama just looked at him like, I mean, he, pro he probably don't know where he's living because he's not living anywhere. Yeah, he don't even, he's probably not even living on a physical street. He's just in a car park somewhere, innit? Okay, where do you live? Sorry. Mama said, where do you live, sir? And my man adjusted himself, you know what she... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> ah, shouldn't laugh. For a work job. Okay. Oh, I love you this job. Where is the cleaning industry? Okay, where do you live, sir? Watch it. My man's going to take two steps side to side, you know. It's like, and I'm doing the fucking two step. <laughs> um, how long have you been in England? Uh, four months. Four months. Four months. Um, can you hold up your left hand for me, please? Okay. I'm going to need you to be able to take basic instructions. I understand. I don't think you have enough English. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye. Bye. Cheers. It's a shame still, man, because in his language, Romanian, he is fluent. Yeah, but in another language, just that language barrier can make the difference, man. Sad still. Because that guy there, if they said to him, you have to clean the streets for 14 hours a day, he'll say, sure, bring it on. <laughs> that man, I don't give a fuck. That man there, listen, if there was a construction site, yeah, where they said, you have to work an eight-hour shift, no break, they would say, bring it on. That man there are workaholics, blood, I'm telling you. I work with them man there on construction sites, blood. <laughs> 
two days in the van, Sandu and the boys have got to Liverpool. And Sandu has a friend of a friend who knows a friend who promised them a house and a job. That don't sound promising. He has a friend of a friend that knows a friend that promised them a house. Oh, John, Liverpool. Why you? I said John Liverpool. How many fucking Johns are there in Liverpool? I mean, in every fucking square mile, there must be about ten fucking guys called John that live in Liverpool. You know. Rob. Good luck finding him. <laughs> John has lived in the UK for four years, and he's helped Romanians many times. <laughs> You know, that, that, that's what I like about um, the Eastern European people as well. Like, even I had a tenant called Mihai. He was living here. And um, I can't remember what he said to me, but he said, oh, yeah, um, if I ever need any help with anything in, like, Northampton and that, he just goes on to the Romanian Facebook group for Northampton. So let's say, yeah, in, like, major areas in England, they will have, like, Facebook groups for major areas in England. So they will be, like, a Romanian Facebook group for London, Romanian Facebook group for Manchester, Liverpool, Northampton, wherever in it, yeah, anywhere that's like a major place. If it's some random village in the middle of nowhere, like Bricksworth or somewhere like that, that that's somewhere in Northampton. I've heard of it. I've never been there. There ain't going to be in, um, a Facebook group for there. But even then, the people that, the Romanian people that live in Bricksworth, they will just kind of subscribe and follow the Northampton place because that's the nearest major place and that. So, yeah, like, even my girl, like, when she needed help just getting her tyres changed, like, my girl was half Polish, although she doesn't look, she just, she just looks Arab, because she's half Arab. Um, yeah, she would go on to, like, the Polish Facebook group for London. And, yeah, that, that's what I like about them people there. They stick with, to, they, they help each other, innit? I mean, I don't know, innit? I don't know, maybe African people do as well. Maybe there's a Nigerian page for... Nigerian people in London on Facebook and so on and so forth with the other nations and that. But with the Eastern Europeans, Polish and Romanian, Bulgarian and that, they got their little Facebook thing set up and they just help each other, innit? <laughs> how can that man say, how can I put it? You don't just pick money from the cheese, you know? Because... Obviously, England is like the promised land, isn't it? So, some Romanian people, and it's not just Romanian as well, but in this case, some Romanian people might think, oh, you just go to England and there's this money waiting for you on the streets, almost. Like, you see Jamaicans, people from Jamaica, the, the Jamaica people, they think that the people that come from wherever, like England, America, or Canada, they think, yeah, the people that come from England, America, and Canada that go to Jamaica, they think we're all rich. No, motherfucker, we're just as poor as you, but we're poor over there, blood. Yeah, they seem to think that everyone from the UK, oh, I'm going to go a foreigner to England and that, the people them is rich. No, no way, blood. No way, no way. But foreign people, people from a third world country like Africa and that, they think, oh, everyone in England is rich. No way, no way. Come to Northampton, blood. You'll see some real poverty, blood. Let's have a go see the monk. Let's peel it back. Man's wearing a USA hat in England. John has lived in the UK for four years and he's helped Romanians many times. <laughs> you don't. The fact that he had to tell them that as well is they literally have that mindset like, yeah, England, he's going to go there and thinking almost rob money from people. Not in an illegal way, in it, but it's like taking candy from a baby and it's just too easy. No, fam. Let's have a go see the Munka. You want to English? You're working, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Do you I'm self-employed. Yeah. It does it doing what? For many job. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Plastering, 
building houses, electrical wiring, plumbing, everything. <laughs> what sort of work is there for these lads? In, in that sort of situation there, yeah, because I ain't seen this, they're probably going to have to go to a car wash or something like that. They're going to have to be around. They can't go and work for an organisation where they're the only Romanian person there. They have to work amongst other Romanian people that can somewhat, worst case scenario, somewhat speak English, if not speak decent, okay English and that, to help them. Because them man there, they're good for the job. It's just communicating. You know what I'm saying? Like I met man on construction site who can't speak uh, English. They might be Bulgarian or Romanian. They cannot speak a word of English. And that's a safety issue. How the fuck, yeah, can you have people on a construction site and allow them to work on a construction site if they can't speak English? What if the place is on fire or whatever or, or, or something happens and you need to communicate with someone? Yeah? And man might get the wrong impression and that and... Nah, man, you can't have people working on construction sites. If you, I don't give a fuck yet if they're with someone that can work on a construction site. Like, and a construction site, there's, it's an enclosed building, blood. Yeah, whereas if it's out in the open and that, I think that's a bit more safer. Like, there's less danger than being in an enclosed building that could be set on fire or collapse or something like that. Dumb, blood. Maybe car wash. I don't know. What? What did I say? Car wash. Imagine that, that's, that's a 50-year-old man coming over to England to work like he's in his 20s, you know. The man that are coming over to England at the age of 55, 60 years old, like, yeah, ready to work. The man they'll work themselves into a fucking grave, blood, literally. When Tiggs is bad back home, blood, these are the man them's only option. They're coming over here at the age of 50 and that to work like they're fucking still 20 years old. It's crazy. You're working, aren't you? Yeah. Do you reckon? I'm self-employed. Yeah? It does it doing what? For many job. <laughs> what sort of work is there for these lads? Maybe car wash. I don't know. But something I can find for this guy. But I just got a lot of camera, so let's pick this for Chase Come on. The chest is the camera, Vastra. Yeah. You will help you to stay here for a week of a week. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Păi, fratele meu, și la un WC public, dacă mă afli mie de lucru, eu mă duc și la WC public. Da, da, da. Dacă e nevoie, fratele meu, de, de săpat, săpături, dumă și la săpături. Că eu acum azi vorbesc, nu dau drumul la lacrimi. Să vă spun, el este venit aici, el este willing să lucreze orice job. El nu se întâmplă a fie. El a spus că el lucreze în public toilet, nu e problemă. Digging, nu e problemă. El este venit aici. Îți spune că este venit aici. De voia că a venit în coace, nu a venit de voia. Yeah, 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 trust me, forget about this country, just in general, man. You can't show no emotion, nothing like that, that is perceived as being weak, and people will just try and exploit you and use you and abuse you by showing weakness. So, man, I'm watching this right now, no matter where the fuck you are, in it, it don't matter if you're in your house with your gal, you cannot show no weakness, blood, because your gal will pick up on that and think, Oh, I can take the piss with him or use him and abuse him and that. Nah, you always got to stay in your masculine frame, brother. Yeah, no more. Come on, stay. Do you know what would be good for the Romanian people? But probably Spain probably doesn't have like a great economy or there isn't as much work in Spain as there is in England. But Romanian is very similar, similar to Spanish, apparently. And, yeah, if they went over to Spain, they could get around speaking, Rom well, speaking their language because it's very similar to, um, Romanian is very similar to Spanish because it's, um, it's a, like, derived from the Latin family tree, Sp Spanish and, and Romanian and that. But the only thing is, obviously, I don't think there's much work opportunities in Spain as there is in Romania, so... <laughs> this is how it's going to be. Yeah. Look 
Ramunca. Bun, Ramunca, de eu să-ți ajut iar. Da, mi-a ajut. Spor la treabă. Doamne, ajută. Dar suntem doci toate, bă, e shaky, shaky, shaky. Uite, mă, ce salte au faină. Blood, did you see how I mash up and broke up and tear up that mattresses and the man say it's a nice mattress, you know? That's how you know them at their cup of the ghetto. Remember where their man they was living before? And their man they say that that mattress is good, you know? Oh, is that the word? Uite, mă, ce salte au faină. Look how much blood. The reason why it's thrown out on the street is because no one wants it because it's fun. Look, there's rips in it, blood. Da. They're literally going from one ghetto to another ghetto because Liverpool... Yeah, Liverpool is it's, it's really the, the ghetto, but it's... Just... Like I'm here. I heard before they was all selling houses for one pound and that. That's not a joke, but search it. Liverpool homes for one pound. Google it. Yeah. Sir. When you're with me, oh boy, the world will see that you were yeah, meant boy. for me. Oh my love, oh my love. Don't you know what you've been missing, oh boy? No, it's not a microphone, it's a Oh boy, oh boy. It's a trumpet, it's a primer. Place, place aici. Da, ce fain e un să-mi bag piciorul. Oala, la, la, la! John Lewis? John Lewis. I was thinking, why are they not putting up subtitles? But oh yeah, John Lewis. John Lewis. John Lewis. John Lewis. Yeah. Stefan has been surviving as one of London's many, many human statues. <laughs> But he can't compete with the levitating gold Pinocchio guy. Asta e are costumul care se face bani. Pe number one costum. 70 de lire la zi la costumul ăsta. Nu ai costum bun, nu faci bani. To be the Jedi Master Yoda, Stefan has borrowed money from the Silver Surfer. And he's going to get himself a guaranteed number one money-making outfit. Oh yes. What the cowboy on a ship? Elvis Presley on a ship. On a ship. I don't want to pay any more. I'm breaking up with Charlie Chaplin.
Hello, lady. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 650. Și aici o rugă rusească. But Stefan's plan to make money as Charlie Chaplin has a big, big problem. Sunt mai mulți de Charlie Chaplin, nu numai unul. S-au mulțit de Charlie Chaplin. Total cu mine, șapte, cred că sunt. Seven. Doing Charlie Chaplin was a bad investment. And Stefan is still waiting for his first money from the job seekers alone. Uite, bă, că mi-a intrat. Am scos 100. La Brăjeală am pus 100. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Ai văzut, mă? Nu vine să cred. Mai nu. Iară, bă, că intră de de... Money will make any man smile, boy. Listen, when I get paid from work and I just see that money come in, I'm like, yeah, done, done. Stefan prays to God that he can get enough cash to bring his family to England. But his benefits are the first money he has sent home in four months. Telephone number. Ai 30 de lire pentru două săptămâni acum, nu? Now Stefan is in the system. He doesn't just get free money. Now he can fix his shitty teeth on the NHS. And Alex has come to translate the English. Hey, so you understand? You understand where the money comes from? Hey, it's not European. It's the European Union. Stefan, it's not the European Union. It's the British taxpayer. Hey, no, no, British in salary. Correct. It's good. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, lady. I don't like seeing teeth in your hands. Stefan, could you afford to get it fixed in Romania? De unde? No, 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 no. De ce să mint? Nu îmi permiteam. No. E o groază de bani. You should guess how many Romanians are on benefits in your country. You might get a surprise. Because it's less than two and a half thousand persons. And if you want the big picture, we pay much more in tax than we take from the government. Now that one needs to come out, that broken, coming out. So, before you start hating the benefits tourists, remember this. Migrants create one in seven jobs in Britain. Thank you. Thank you very much. Immigration from EU countries makes you money. Sandro and his friend Florin didn't realize that if you don't have good English in the UK, you can't do anything. Hello. Speak English, then you know I can't see. Their English is so bad, they wouldn't understand even if they were offered a job. Sorry, no work job. Huh? Work job, no? Job. Yeah. Do you want delivery or do you want to work inside? Okay. Thank you. Sorry, my friend. No job. Sorry. No speak English. Speak French. You no speak French. Spanish? You know what I mean? S Spanish, French. I mean, I don't know about French, but I know Spanish is very similar to Romanian, so... Soon the boys will have to leave their friend's house and look for work while sleeping on the street. No, 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 no,
Sfatul meu este să nu mai stați să vă chinuiți și să mergeți acasă la familie și mai bine așa. Eu vă doresc să vă găsiți și voi de lucru, să nu Asta e. Viața de români. Speranța mare ultima. Alain is son to sell the son, but he has eight other kids that need him to send money home. Aveți grijă, acum poate vă găsești, vă găsești și ei ceva de lucru și dacă o găsesc, nu refuzat, mergeți înainte. Aveți grijă, Doamne ajută! No job, friend. Hor job. Dacă găsim, dacă nu. Nu știu ce să fac. <laughs> Bă, gătirăm ceva în Anglia, gata. Am făcut aia mică. Mă duc să se dea pe ea. Cum să nu uscă, Chisuse? Cum să nu uscă? Nu, dar toate sunt părăsite, mă. A evacuat de aici, sunt. Față de ăștia, tata, ar fi mană cerească pentru tine. Perfect. Perfect. De ce nu bagă oamenii străzi în căștile ăștia să locuiască? E mai bine să doarmă pe stradă decât într-o casă. Dar ați văzut în ce situație stau eu, mizerie, dar aici este condiție, este tot. Decât să stau acolo cu copii într-o cameră, este condiție unde să stai într-unul de ăsta, stai destul de bine. Muncă n-am găsit, am încercat, dar măcar am văzut că e frumos pe aici. Who knows if it's true, but I saw somewhere that one in five homeless in London are from Romania. You spend the first few months on the street praying that a crazy person won't kill you. But soon, you stop praying because you lose hope and you are too cold and too hungry to care. How are those new teeth? They look good, don't they? It's good. Yeah. Îți trece din viață, copiii sunt acasă, zic. Cum ești, dacă ce mănânci, unde dormi, mă întreabă. Eu ce să le răspund? The guy that had the house said to them, listen, you're not going to come over here and pick money off the trees. You're going to have to work for it and that. So the foreign people think that, oh, yeah, England is the promised land and that, whatever. And it is. What I'm saying is it ain't that easy. Um, you know, you can't go to England and that and then phone back, phone home, like E.T., E.T., phone home and say, yo, listen, man, I'm, I'm sleeping out on the streets. I ain't eating properly. They're going to say, what the fuck is going on, bro? What are you doing wrong, man? So... Îi zic că e bine, chiar dacă nu e bine, înțelegi? Că normal, când dormi pe stradă, nu e bine. Când nu mănânci la masă cu familia, iară nu e bine. Ștefania, ce face? Cum mai este Ștefania? Cum se simte cu piciorul? Oh, îi dau tot așa, cum știi tu. Îți trebuie pe tati. Tati? Are piciorul. Te doare tare? Da. Vai, draga lui tata, lasă că se bagă tata la muncă și atunci rezolvă cumva cu piciorul ăla. Dar prima dată trebuie să-mi găsesc eu de muncă. Îmi găsesc neapărat de muncă. Da, voi cum sunteți? Bine? Nu suntem nici noi așa bine. Tu cum o mai duci? 
Ce să mai zic, mi-e dor de voi? Păi da, rezolvă pune-te la lucru și... Ce? Hai, vedeți piciorul. Nu, eu făcut piciorul bine. Yeah, her leg is fucked. Look at her right leg. So if you're looking at the screen, it's on the left, but it's her right. It's fucked. It's bowed inwards. Strâng piciorul. Atâta ce-o plâng și s-o chinui cu piciorul. Fucked, blood. Și-o stat săraca, nu... Madurai, está, não? Dá. Pedro, está, e ele se sacrifica. Imagina. Estou dizendo, blood, over here, England, yeah. Your biggest problem, I mean, there's no such thing as black oppression. That is in your mind, yeah. That doesn't exist no more. But it's like, imagine, yeah, being in England. And imagine you had to go to a foreign country where you don't speak the language and you have to sleep out on the streets, dress up like some crazy person in the city centre to hustle for money and that because your family is dirt poor back home and your daughter has a broken crooked leg because the doctor botched up her leg. But imagine being in that scenario, blood, and you want to moan? And you want to complain that your boss says that you have to work a few extra hours and that, or you know what I'm saying in it? You're like, bro, these are first world problems you're moaning about, blood. That's what I'm saying, blood. Work, work every day, fam. Work every day. Fuck your weekends, blood. Fuck your weekends. You have to fuck your weekends for a little bit, blood. You just gotta work, man. Like I'm telling you, blood. Whatever situation you're in right now, it ain't that bad, blood. It ain't that bad, fam. We live in a country where you could literally say, I'm not going to work or nothing, and the state will pay for you to sit at home and do jack shit. Fuck all, blood. I'm telling you, man, we got it too easy in this country, blood. I'd love for you lot to live like them Romanian people for a whole year, and then when you get back to normality and return back to your normal lifestyle, you'll think, you know what, I'm going to work as hard as I can, so I never have to experience that pain again, blood. You Brits have a reputation for being great gentlemen. And London has charities that help with food, clothing and education. This English class, my teacher, Jane Marie. Okay, now what about these two words here? What? 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 Perfect. Uh, uh, what is your name? My name is Stefan Panikta. This is Kar Mazda. This is Travel Coffee. This is Left. <laughs> so the reason why I said this is left, referring to his left hand. Do you remember earlier when he went to go and look for a job and the guy said to him, where have you been sleeping? And then he just looked at him or whatever, innit? And he said, can you raise your left hand? And he just stared at him. So that's why he's making reference to his left hand, because the guy asked him, can you raise your left hand? And he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> Today we have a big interview for work. How do you feel? Ah, very, very strong. Do you feel nervous or not? A bit, a bit. For me, this job is my life. Good. For, uh, Finish school. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. Right, hopefully he gets the job now, because now his English is a little bit better. School my was okay? It's okay, yeah. This, this is how, my paper. How finish. is London? London is good. Is it okay so it's far? It's okay, yeah? very okay. Well, you have 
for the jobs that we have here, we do need to be able to understand, to take instructions for health and safety. But I will give you an application form. You need to take the application form away, complete it, bring it back to me. We will sit down, we will have a chat. I will tell you exactly how we work, what we have, and we'll see if we can help you. Thank you very much. Good man. Well done. Thank you. See you later. Stefan's new job is to clean the same streets he has been sleeping on. Engla is, uh, for me, lăsată de la Dumnezeu zi și trebuie făcut curățenie tot timpul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about um, London, boy. You will always have a job cleaning the streets, boy. The car, people, yeah, they just don't respect the place, bro. England in general. I remember I went to Netherlands, yeah? <clears throat> Holland, went, went to the Netherlands for Taekwondo training camp. And I was in a place called Dortrek. It's a little town. It's like three or four hours away from Rotterdam and Amsterdam and that, so it's way, way away, innit? And when I was there, I was looking around and that, and I said to my people, them, like my Taekwondo people, I was like, blood, have you not noticed there's no rubbish about? There's two things I noticed about this place. People them ride around on motorbikes with no helmet, and there's no rubbish. Like, literally, there was no Pepsi. I think I saw one Pepsi can on the floor. There's no rubbish, blood. People look after the place. People don't disrespect the place, blood. Good man, but in England, you will never be out of a job being a cleaner, blood. I like Stefan. He's a good fella. But He's already starting his work, you know. Only God knows if he can make enough money to get his family over and fix his daughter's leg. Yeah, he will, he will, he will. All he needs to do, yeah, is just get his family over and the NHS will take care of the girl's leg. And I hope, because, yeah. I don't think there's any more episodes. I was trying to find some other episodes to download and I don't know if I can find it, but I hope that he gets his family over. He will, and he'll get his daughter's leg fixed, man. But I tell you something. Agency work hasn't made Alex and Gabriel enough money to get the flat. <laughs> Homeless. <laughs> After two months of sleeping in the peace and the cold, their mate Christian is in the hospital with tuberculosis. And Gabriel wants to stay close by. What? He said sleeping in the piss and the cold, you know? <laughs> Money to get the flat. Oh, this narrator is cold. <laughs> Homeless. Five star narrating, you know. <laughs> <laughs> After two months of sleeping in the peace and the cold, there may... <laughs> How can a man say after five months of sleeping in the peace and the cold, you know? <laughs> Homeless. <laughs> after two months of sleeping in the peace and the cold, their mate Christian is in the hospital with tuberculosis. <laughs> and Gabriel wants to stay close by. Basta că nu sunt șerpi în pula mea. Mă duc de tot. Să o vin bun pe din mânânții. Ok. If I had a sleeping bag, I wouldn't care. Încă prima mă duc în eu. Ai înțeles? Dar vrei să mâncăm, nu? Ha? Vrei să mâncăm, nu? Ai mâncare? Cert tu. Nu Nu vrei să mânci larg de brânză cu ceapă și cu roșii? Of course I do. Ha? For real? Ha? Yo. Ti piace? Good. Ya rosh, ha? Mm, ya ha. Ba. Yo finito. Ya? Yo hai mukato sa, pasha. Dumnezeu e cu noi. Nuts, blood. You got man sleeping out in a fucking in the outdoors, in the cold, eating uncooked food or, you know, they ain't got no facilities to warm up food. 
So they're just fucking eating just tomatoes and whatever other crackers and that's nuts. Yo, Dick, I see this. <sighs> This is fucking crazy. You see where we're sleeping, man? Sleeping in the fucking for real in the bush. Three feet tall grass, cardboard, and a sleeping bag. I think he's gonna be able to work tomorrow at five o'clock in the morning. He's gotta wake up and go to work. Go to work like a regular human being, and you know, nobody will ever expect him to be homeless. Because that's what happened. In order to keep a job, you gotta tell him that you're not homeless. You have to tell him that you're sleeping well and you're able to come to work. What can you do? We don't do this by choice. Oh. If it rains, we're fucked. <laughs> For some of us, the UK is beautiful. Da, munca asta tu, ca un cine să bate pe străzi. Nici mie nu vreau să te dau. Îmi place la nebuni. But for many Romanians, Britain is too alien and too weird. Dog baby. <laughs> She's feeding the baby using a phone. She's feeding the dog using a baby bottle, you know? Oh my days. Nici mie nu vreau să te dau. Îmi place la nebunie. But for many Romanians, Britain is too alien and too weird. Some people that be different, boy. Dog baby. Dog baby. Yeah. 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 Oh, he came back. Fuck, so it's a waste of a journey going down there. Asta pe platforma. Ce e dute că n-avem noi pe aici pe drumurile astea, magazinile ce erau jos. Sus, iar unde am fost noi sus. Sandy, is that the scooter? Reparat, bun, ok. Next week, Romanians come with jobs already in their pockets. Do you know I am from Romania? Got look. Alex goes crazy. I have quit on having a job in this country. Can get it. And I tell you some of my story. Here is the kitchen, a beautiful kitchen, from here to here. Living room, and here is the bedroom. Yeah, it's okay, no? Romanians back next Tuesday at 9 o'clock. 11 o'clock. I'm saying, man, it just goes to show how easy we got it in England, blood. And you're moaning, fam, you should be working, blood. You should be working after you get up, yeah? So this is what you do. You, you get up from your bed, yeah, whatever time. You go to work, come back, blood. You should be building something. You should be working on some sort of project, blood. I don't know, YouTube channel, TikTok account, fucking Instagram. There's so many opportunities, blood. Even just be able to speak English and have a decent accent. Like, if you have a fucked up English accent, like, no disrespect if you're from Liverpool or Birmingham and that. People might not want to listen to you, but if you have a reasonably decent accent and that, like like a London accent or whatever, or a neutral accent, like, I don't know, someone from, like, I don't know, Leicester or somewhere like that, or Hertfordshire or whatever. People around the world want to listen to you. Trust me. If you've got a little bit of a story to tell family, there's so many opportunities out here, especially that 2023, man. Blood, you should be out here grinding work. If I, like I said, man's grinding, man's working, and I thought to myself, ah, oh, it's going to be long having to build up a TikTok account. And I thought to myself, how many times in my life as a child did I start a brand new video game from scratch? GTA 4, sorry, not GTA 4, sorry, GTA 3, Vice City, San Andreas, and complete it. Call of Duty, you name it, all these different video games, fucking Pokemon and that. Every time man got a new video game, I started off from scratch. So why can't, how can I be bothered to start a video game from scratch? That when I do complete it, it don't mean nothing. But I cannot be bothered to start a TikTok account 
when there's more prosperity and that, like there's more to achieve, I can actually make money from this. I'm not going to make no money from completing Gears of War or completing Tekken 2 or any other game you can think of. Me, I never played it, but like Football Manager and that. Fam, just embrace the fucking grind, blood. Yeah? Embrace the grind, man. But anyway, man, that's it for today, man. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Stay wise. Tons.